Hi, I'm glad to be here to present you a new method uh, for normalized um, entity mention with concept of ontologies. So yeah, um, normalization task is for me a core uh, task in uh, information extraction. Uh, we put, uh, uh, um, we use in input uh, uh, recognize entity from an entity recognition task, and we want to link. Uh, this mention, uh, recognized mention, with a uh, concept of ontologies. So what is the challenge of this task? Um, we have two kinds of approaches in this field. Uh, first, the rules and dictionary-based approaches uh, with uh, the main advantages. Uh, we have no training data needed and it's pretty fast to, to compute. And the drawbacks, uh, if, um, it is very specific to type of mention, of domain, so the generalizability is, is pretty low. Uh, but in case of highly variable entity mention, uh, for instance, the bacterial habitat, or the kind of polysemia thing, uh, we have a, uh, so, uh, anyway, we have a good precision, but uh, sometimes we have a bad uh, recall. Uh, the second um, kind of approaches is the supervised learning uh, combined often with distributional representation. So we can say advantages as we can address the problem of uh, variation of mentions and we can be often um, use this method uh, to train and adapt to a new task or domain. So the generalizability, sorry, <laughs> are pretty good. Um, but yeah, it is a drawback and it's a big one. Uh, they need a lot of training data. And in, uh, particularly in some BNLP tasks, we don't have this, uh, this amount of uh, data because um, in, it's um, uh, often a classification problem with a lot of classes and a little amount of uh, uh, even no example for several classes. Uh, for the BNLP share task of, um, of uh, the last uh, edition, uh, bacterial habitat categorization subtask, we have uh, an ontology with more than 2,000 uh, concepts, which is uh, uh, not so high for an ontology in biomedical field, but uh, pretty high for a classification problem. And in all training and dev data, uh, we have only 15% of classes which has used uh, at least ONS. So the method contest for concept to term system um, begins uh, to use uh, um, two uh, different semantic space. Uh, the semantic space of the corpus, uh, which, which is produced uh, with, uh, currently with word to vector and skip gram negative sampling, uh, train on permit corpus, to represent uh, a semantic uh, uh, representation of uh, mentions. And uh, another uh, semantic space of ontology, it's a kind of concept, concept on buildings, uh, currently produced by using uh, the hierarchical uh, structure of the ontology. And with a small sample uh, of training data, uh, we, we, we hope uh, that we can um, uh, perform a mapping uh, between the two spaces. Uh, our hypothesis is uh, that the two semantic space have some uh, um, similarity uh, of structure. Uh, so uh, we can look for a projection uh, which can map the corpus space to the ontological space. Uh, and if the two spaces uh, are homologous, uh, we hope that uh, the, the mention to predict uh, fall uh, just uh, beside our correct concept vectors. Um, so, the, result, uh, the results on the bacterial habitat uh, substacks were pretty good with contest uh, as, uh, at now. Uh, we have also uh, a supervised uh, version. Uh, uh, we have not so bad uh, result. And uh, we propose to uh, the owner method, which is um, um, a mix of uh, the two kinds of approaches, contest from the ML. Uh, uh, approach and to map from the rule and dictionary base, uh, which are great uh, interest to 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 mix it. So, what is the limitation of the method? The current limitation: um, 
the dimension of uh, the ontological space is uh, pretty high uh, and sparse um, because um, the vector uh, are equal to the number of concepts. So it is hard to use with really big ontologies. Um, so for BLA, uh, my priority is to work to integrate uh, better entity embeddings uh, or to use a dimensional reduction method to, to address this problem. Uh, secondly, uh, both the semantic specs are certainly not so similar. So I think uh, we need to, to, to try a nonlinear, to find a nonlinear projection. Uh, next, uh, we have um, we can use now um, the OBO files, but yeah, uh, we have a lot of uh, different format of ontology. So maybe we can adapt uh, uh, this one with uh, other format like all or scores. And finally, uh, we have only evaluated the method on the uh, bacteria habitat, uh, bacteria biotope uh, corpus. So I think it will be a, a good idea to use and, uh, the method on, uh, on a new data set. Um, what is uh, our resources for, for BLA? Uh, we have a public and open data set from a bacteria biotope uh, task uh, and uh, an online evaluation system. Um, the method is already available in the Alvis and LPML corpus processing engine, so it can be uh, quick to, to try to, um, to use the method with other data set. Um, for the source code, uh, they are in, um, in GitHub, uh, in public and open. And uh, to, to, um, to avoid to, uh, a waste of time, uh, we have uh, bring with us uh, available uh, word embeddings uh, in our external uh, app disk. So if you want to try this, don't hesitate. So thank you for your attention.